Well, what I can see uh, is uh, about maybe one year worth of work mm -hmm. uh, that started pretty much when the pandemic started. Um, and then I guess was influenced by, you know, I mean, some of the paintings actually deal with uh, uh, death, but in a positive way, because in our culture, we think that death is something not to be spoken about. In many other culture, it's just a step, you know, or it's just part of life. So we have that. Uh, a lot of the paintings were influenced by me spending more time in uh, Nevada Desert. Uh, because you know, a lot of work was done remotely at that point, and we had a little more free time and to be, uh, to stay <laughs> grounded and to avoid people. I mean, obviously, nature here is wonderful. And uh, I guess I got inspired by, it's just absolutely stunningly beautiful. Um, it grows on you. I'm not gonna lie and say, you know, I'm from France, Paris originally, but I've been in America for many years uh, for my career. Uh, but I was mostly north, you know, in north of the country. So everything is green. And so when I came here, it was a shock. But then when you spend time within it, you know, with all the textures and the rocks and the colors, and the wind, the smell, uh, I obviously wasn't inspired by it. And you can see that people that collect my work and know my work, we'll see not a difference, but we'll see something else happening. And mostly the structure, the, the texture I use, I use different textures. Um, you know, I do my own little, like a cook, I have my little secrets. You know, I do my own little cuisine uh, using paint and I created very interesting, I think, textures in my work that might be new for people that used to collect my art or my prints or whatnot. So I was four years in Kentucky, and then before, prior to that, I was, I think, about 16 years at least uh, in Cincinnati, where I was uh, teaching, gra teaching graphic design, and that's where really my art career started. I, I was commissioned to do many, many paintings for uh, several groups and several people, influential people that I won't name here, but, you know, that uh, own 20 cars and fly planes, so they're not hurting for money, and that obviously it helped me during my career to you know, stay an artist and, and, and make a living at it. I'm teaching uh, my wonderful students. I say hi to my students. I love you guys. Um, yeah, I'm teaching uh, drawing and, and color in drawing as well, using pastel, all kinds of mixed media. I use a lot of mixed media in my art itself. So it's a very uh, interesting, fun, and creative experience for uh, my students. And um, they usually tell me that it's a... <clears throat> a breath of fresh air, uh, a breath of fresh air for them in, in academia to be able to learn and have fun and, and, and touch things and make things with their hands and, and create art. It's something, especially in, during those times of, of, of hardship and isolation, it's something that they really enjoy. Life, I mean, uh, what you're going through, uh, uh, but mostly, mostly what we are all going through. I'm not, I'm not about divi division. I'm not about pointing uh, at things that might divide people. I'm not political that way. You know, I'm not trying to make a statement. But if I am, uh, and I think when I say I'm not trying, as I am trying. I'm trying to bring people together. And I'm not a politician, so it's not an empty promise. Uh, you know, you hear all politicians saying, well, I'm, I can bring people together, and they never do, because that's the game of politics. I'm not into politics. Um, but I really want to talk about we all, whatever we all go through. So we know isolation was one of them. Uh, togetherness, togetherness, there's a lot of uh, paintings on, on speech. Um, it's free speech is one of them. It's a hot topic. But also free speech means being responsible for, with your words. And so some of my paintings talk about being responsible with your words, meaning watch your words. A lot of, uh, you'll see a lot of eyes being linked with line to the mouth, which literally means in my art, keeping an eye on what you say. So it's not about being PC, it's about being mindful. You know? And I think you know, we can all improve the way we relate to each other without falling into those caricatures that the press at large tends to do. You know, wow, the PC culture, all, all that stuff. I think we can all benefit from being respectful to one another and, you know, being mindful of what you project, what you say.
you know, I grew up, my whole family is a family of artists. Uh, my great-grandfather was the impressionist, the way we're now really well known, uh, and he would be <laughs> turning in his grave if, we, if he knew that. Uh, yeah, he died in 1903. So, uh, but Camille Pissarro was, if you can Google it, you know, Camille Pissarro, uh, was the, the father, considered as the father of the impressionist. So he started the, the movement of taking the easel from the studio outside in nature. And so he created the Impressionist. He taught many artists at the time. Um, so he had several sons, all were also artists, uh, maybe not as well known. My father, which high dad, is gonna turn 100 years old this summer in July. Uh, he's also an artist and a graphic designer. And you know, I am also an artist and a graphic designer. As a little child, uh, my father didn't take me to the ball game. My father took me to a museum. And it was, about, it was a dread because I wanted to play with the kids. I wanted to play soccer. He said, oh, we got to go to the art museum. So I was going to the art museum. So I was so tired of it um, that I would run in the museum. And whatever, whatever piece would, that stopped me was the one that I would spend looking at. And I realized that what I'm looking for in art is something that stops me first, that grabs me, that has an impact. And then when you stop, you know, which we, meaning you pay attention, then the painting has to have all kinds of little secrets within it, in the way it's done, the way it's built, to keep you interested and to keep you guessing. So what, the way I paint, I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to make you stop and wonder how it was done. How was this texture made? How is this line? Is that painted? Is, what kind of paint is that? I think that's, I've seen so many paintings that I'm trying to do paintings that don't really look like paintings because mm. I've seen too many. <laughs> so I'm trying to have fun with my process and I want people, the viewer, that look at the paintings wondering how it's done, how it's made. A little yeah. bit like a magic trick. If they feel something, that's wonderful. Uh, that would be number one. Uh, number two, I want them to feel, uh, most of the paintings are very positive. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a positive person. Um, I'm a reflective person. I, you know, I, tend, I think artists should not be in the crowd. They should be on the side of the crowd, sorry, and then look at stuff and try to figure it out. But uh, you know, I'm positive. I believe in, in positive images. So if you look at my work, first of all, most of them, all of them, I would say, are really happy in colors, bright in colors. Uh, so the mood is, is, you know, happy and strong. And then when you get, get into each painting, you'll see there are little, little stories within. So, and everybody, I know what I'm creating that line, what I'm creating that dot, what it means to me, but I want people to just kind of figure it out on their own. Uh, you know, like a, a lot of things, if I look at this line, you know, when I, saw, when I do several eyes, I don't do that all of them, but it means that you're gonna have different point of views. That's what I want to express. You know, there's not, only, there's not only one way to look at things. And that's what we're being sold. We're being sold a very black and white word where it's either wrong and right or, or, or right, and there's nothing in between. Life, by experience, is a lot of gray zones. It's a lot of, you know, we have to be more, uh, understanding of people's situations and people's life, less judgmental. And that's the way for me to express that. Of course, most people uh, wouldn't know it. And then eventually it becomes, it becomes an interesting uh, uh, way of expressing and creating art, you know. Right. So the way I work, I work with thoughts, words, sentences that become line, dots, colors and they all feed within each other. It, it, it's, sometimes a word would come to my mind which leads to a painting, like this one for instance. Uh, sometimes an image comes to my mind and the word comes afterwards. So it's, a, it's an interesting process. Uh, a, a lot of it is just, the way I work, I, I don't plan too much ahead uh, because I don't want to know what I'm doing so much. I want to be entertained I want to be surprised. I want to have fun in the process. So if I'm doing something, uh, you know, so tight, then, then the only task I have is to blow it up. There's no fun in it, for me anyways. 
So I like to have you know, a, a, a general idea and then let it happen. So in order to have 20 paintings that I'm proud and happy with to show, I might have to do 40. You know, that's the way I work. It's my first show in Las Vegas. I'm very happy. Very, I mean, so far, I mean, I got a, a, lot of witness, a lot of people saying that they'll come. They're happy to see that happening. And it's very supportive. And I'm very excited. And, and, and Prissy Lafollow did the, I mean, with his team, they did a great job hanging the show. It's wonderful. Absolutely. It feels good. Uh, it's, it's like when uh, people might know, know that. But as an artist, is like an actor. You know, you in the movie, my, my older son is an actor in France. And he tells me that all the time. You know, you get a part for a movie, and then you don't really know what they're going to do with your part until you see the cut. Right. And sometimes you're happy about it, and sometimes you're not. And you have very little control. You know, you did your job, and that's it. It's the same thing for a painter. You know, I did the paintings, I delivered the painting. Then I don't know how it's going to work out. And I'm pleased to see that they did a wonderful job. That it's, it's just brilliant. Yeah. Well, since, since I'm, I'm, I'm new in Las Vegas, I mean, fairly new in Las Vegas, if we take out the... COVID-19 because we had to, the show was scheduled on it and we had to push it back twice already and waiting for better times. And I think uh, we all agree that better times are here. Uh, I can say already that more people are coming back to Las Vegas. Uh, but for people that don't know me, uh, I don't see why, you know, uh, necessarily they should know me since I'm new in Las Vegas. Just Google my name. It's a simple search. You'll see what I've done. I've got a wiki page. I've got all kinds of stuff there. And uh, you'll be more informed about, you know, what I've done and so far and, and maybe, you know, want to show up and see us on Friday.